hello and welcome to my channel today we'll be reviewing the new hourglass snake palette this arrived to me on friday and i already did one video swatching and comparison with the tiger palette that was released last year so this is uh, the one dedicated for like darker skin tones and it's also the one that has five new shades so this is how it looks in style inside it is stunning um, and of course this palette it is not dedicated for my skin tone but i love these uh, tones <laughs> this orange it's like my perfect uh, blush for me and then of course the finishing powder that is in here and everything i can use as a bronzer or as a highlighter even on my eyes so uh, practically uh, what it is in here i will be using for other purposes let's say and this is how uh, the two palettes look like um, together so this is uh, from this year the snake palette and this is from last year the tiger palette now uh, when I swatch them, it's maximum two shades that is kind of the same. It's this one from here and the darker shade from bottom. And then uh, one of the highlighter or at least that uh, what is a highlighter for me. So this is a close up of how they look. This one is the tiger and this one is the snake one. So in the in tiger palette, this one from here is supposed to be a finishing powder uh, now of course for me i will be using as a bronzer but this bronzer like finishing powder in here it is very uh, similar in a way with the bronzer in here so i was looking back of the uh, snake and tiger and from what i can see in tiger palette we actually don't have a bronzer so we have a finishing powder uh, a metallic uh, straw powder which is a highlighter a blush another two highlighter and another blush uh, i want to compare the snake palette with the tiger palette and for that i will be using uh, one palette for half of the face and other palette for the other half of the face i will start with the snake palette from this year and this is the bronzer they they uh, uh, place it in here it is called solar bronze and I want to see actually how uh, deep it is uh, this bronzer. So let's apply it. You will know what to expect. And I forgot to tell you that uh, I already have my foundation. I use the Armani Luminous Sync Foundation. And then I set my face with Makeup Forever uh, Micro Finishing Loose Powder and yeah this is everything that i have on my face so let's build a little bit this one uh definitely the bronze in here as you can see i can use it as a blush i mean it is like a reddish uh, brown bronzer let's say definitely not my typical uh, bronzer but of course uh, this is supposed to be for darker skin tones so now i will take the tiger palette and i will use the finishing powder from here as my bronzer uh, because i want to see them side by side of course i'm not a good reference for this palette but because the snake palette has like five new shades i want to see if uh, it's actually worth for you to buy the snake palette from this year if you have the tiger one uh, regard regardless of your skin tone so uh, yeah i am applying the finishing powder from the tiger palette as my bronzer And this is how it looks now uh, for me i will uh, it looks 
the same and the camera uh, also definitely it looks the same i mean it feels like i use the same uh, powder or the same bronzer or yeah for blushes um in here we have definitely two different brushes uh, blushes and then we have that orangey that it might be similar with that one from here but regarding the actual blush color i think we'll be getting very different look so the blushes in here are uh, these ones from here and in the snake palette are the one from the middle and then the orangey one so are these three with the snake palette from the light one from here oh okay she's pigmented so be careful about this and this is how this blush looks here now i'm not going to drag it forth uh, further because I'm going to switch the brush and take this other shade uh, because also I want to see how different these two brushes are on my skin and uh, this one it's more peachy and this one is more pinky with a little bit more of sheen in it i build it just a little more for the camera it's too much blush on me but i really want you to see how uh, this actually looks and i'm uh, like turning my head uh, hoping that you're going to see this so these are stunning and of course you can mix them usually with the blushes in here i just uh, roll the brush all over it and then it's one color and then i apply it to myself but these are pigmented so uh, i think it will show on the uh, darker skin tones uh, now on top of this uh, i want to add this uh, orangey stuff and i think i will go a little bit here okay so this is an orangey uh, blush for sure and i think the best way it is to use it as like a topper and let's blend a little bit now for the tiger palette uh, these are the two blushes that uh, exist in here and of course for me this will also be a blush and uh, it is kind of, of that orangey so that let's apply this first on my face uh, so the shade from here and see how it looks okay this has like a subtle pink sheen uh, if you can see it and it is very pretty i mean uh, for me i can even use it as a blush topper or as highlighter it is very very subtle uh, and now i will take the orangey from here and let's apply this so these are like pigmented and usually with this palette i also use them as like uh for the eyes like eyeshadows and you can see here the the orangey blush that i applied is like a spot <laughs> i place it exactly here so i can see actually the color uh, from this one also which kind of uh, looks uh, maybe a little bit similar let's say um, and now i can take uh, from the tiger palette uh, this coppery brush 
of blush and I'm just going to mix in here because I think this is supposed to be like a highlighter of course for me uh, I cannot use it as a highlighter now I'm going back to the snake palette and we have uh, these two like this is the finishing powder and this is supposed to be the highlighter now I can use either of these to actually be my highlighter and I will take it with like a, a eyeshadow brush and the finishing powder from here and I'm just going to apply this on my eyes actually just for you to see and maybe just maybe um this i can like go because it is a finishing powder and i was expecting to be a little bit more darker uh, it's barely visible on my eyelid it has a little bit of shine but actually i can take this all over the brush now that i i'm seeing how it actually looks and I can just mix and buff everything in here. So um, really, I do not know how this uh, will be performing for darker skin tones. Using this highlighter because I want to see actually how it looks on my eyelid. Okay. So this is all over the eyes, it is stunning. I don't know if you can see the sheen of it. And I can take a little bit and just add it here. Yeah. So I can use this on my skin also, on my eyes, as you can see, it is a beautiful, like for that no makeup makeup look or for the inner corner, it is really really nice and then going again with the finishing powder from snake palette and buffing this uh, all over so this is actually very sp sparkling as you can see of course everything it is mixed now in here but i think this actually looks great and for the target tiger palette we also have two more shades left uh, so both of these supposed to be like a highlighter. I'll be taking a little bit of this now and just apply it all over the lid. So you can see from, uh, I hope you can see uh, the highlighter from that I use on my lid and this, this is very subtle sheen. I mean, this I can even use as a finishing powder um, if I were just to take this. So this is the Tiger palette. And if I were to take this shade from here and I can buff everything in just because um, it is not as intense. It leaves just a subtle um i don't know shine and it's kind of mixing everything in here making it looking good so that was the the one from here now let's take the actual highlighter uh, and let's apply on top of that to my eyes first so you can see how it is changing And this has more luminosity than this one. This is more like uh, on the brown coppery a little bit. And this is more lighter. Now, if I'm going to take this and apply it as a highlighter, and this is how it looks. So you can see here, this has more like wet look shine more on the coppery side. And this is more like bright, still on the coppery, but a very light, coppery uh, shade now to my final conclusion um, of course the snake palette will have 
two different blushes. The orangey blushes from Snake and from Tiger, in my opinion, are the same. Uh, the finishing powder from the Tiger and the bronze from the Snake, in my opinion, are the same, at least on my skin. The highlighter in here, uh, now uh, this, uh, the one from Middle, from the Tiger palette, I can use it as finishing powder. Uh, same as the one from here, from the Snake palette, as finishing powder. And then the highlighter from Tiger is more lighter, coppery shade, and this is more um, dark a little bit, as you can see on my face. Um, now, do you need both of them? Uh, of course not, you don't need it. Uh, but these are nice, these are very versatile, you can use it on the eyes, uh, you can mix everything in here for a nice glow. Looking at my face now, um, there are some differences, I will not deny it, uh, from the blushes and even the highlighter, it looks uh, slightly different uh, one from each other. Uh, now regarding this palette, it's always a choice matter in my opinion. Uh, my advice if you are like darker skin tones and I know now these are available in Sephora and Ulta uh, from uh, the one of you that are living in the US. Even here in Sweden they are available at Sephora here locally in uh, Skin City website. Uh, but my point is, uh, if you don't know exactly if this will uh, be good for you, if you can find it in store, go and swatch it. See uh, how these bronzers and everything will appear on your skin tone. Uh, because, yeah, I am um, a lighter, I mean, I'm light medium now, but uh, the bronzer, um, as you can see at the beginning, uh, it looked at me as like a reddish brown blush more but on deeper skin um, i don't know if this will show up actually uh, the other shades for sure the highlighter i think it will pop up really really nice uh, and this uh, the finishing powder again uh, i don't know how this will work for darker skin tones Overall, I'm happy that I have this palette and the one from last year. Since I discovered Hourglass makeup, I'm a huge fan of it. Uh, I do collect this one, I do use them. Um, and of course, these are releases one time uh, per year during the holiday. They are limited edition. And a very important thing, uh, yesterday, I don't know if it's still available today, but yesterday was a glitch and you can buy this at Hourglass website, 20% uh, off, with the code UNLOCKEDVIP20, uh, I will link it down below. So if you like this kind of uh, finishing powder that are very versatile, also for the eyes, uh, go and uh, buy them uh, but first if you're not sure if this will pop up on your skin just go in store uh, swatch them uh, maybe ask someone from there to apply or apply yourself i don't know uh, just to see how this works so this was my video comparing uh, these two palettes i do think they are different they are not the same of course if I were to mix everything in here at this point, uh, it is a little bit different, the faces uh, from each other, uh, but not that, that you can actually see why, why you have half face uh, with something and half face with uh, something else, uh, but they are different. And I don't know, I'm just in love with this. So uh, in the end, it's a choice preference go swatches if uh, you like it if you never try it this is a good way to try our glass uh, makeup powders they um, are very very subtle uh, of course this one is not for my skin tone but i buy it because of the colors i'm crazy about every kind of uh, darken blushes or like i don't know i'm just in love with this i always buy them even though uh, i will not use it as much because they are too pigmented from my skin tone but I do love it. 
so this was my video i hope you enjoy it it was a little bit crazy of makeup just for you to see the actually color on the face i mean i don't apply the makeup like this in day-to-day -day life but it was for video purpose um so yes i will link everything that i use uh down below even the code if you want to go to our glass website and buy it i think it's from for everything the code 20 percent off is not only for these ones uh so yes thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye